The Civic Forum Initiative and the Institute for Democratic Governance are urging the National Democratic Congress to go to court to have its issues regarding the 2020 election addressed. Speaking at a news conference to address issues that have come up after the EC's declaration of the winner, the CSOs noted it is only the courts that can iron out whatever issues the NDC has concerning the just concluded election. They also urged the police administration to protect NDC sympathizers who have been embarking on nationwide protests to challenge the outcome of the poll. My colleague Kweku Asante has more in the following report. The Institute for Democratic Governance and Civic Forum Initiative are urging the National Democratic Congress and its leader, former President John Mahama, to head to the courts to challenge the outcome of the 2020 elections if they have any issues. Here is Dr. Angela Dramenabwaje speaking on behalf of the CSOs. As we have stated before, courts are not mutually exclusive nor contradictory. Legal recourse may be pursued even as peaceful demonstrations are carried out. Therefore, we join the voices of the sections of the public to urge the NDC to present their concerns to the courts for legal redress. We wish to emphasize in this regard that going to court does not amount to a lot of the length of time required in pursuing court cases. And the fact that during this time, the processes of swearing in the president and parliamentarians will take place. The opposition NDC has rejected the outcome of the 2020 presidential polls, which declared the Kufuado as winner of the 2020 election. Former President Muhammad described the election as flawed and the results fictitious. IDEC and the Civic Forum Initiative wants full police protection for NDC protesters across the country who are demonstrating against the result. First and foremost, we wish to state that going to court is not contradictory to peaceful demonstrations. It is the political and civil right of all persons to demonstrate when they disapprove about some national development. Is therefore have the right to public protest and demonstration. They have the right to express themselves through demonstrations so long as their demonstrations are peaceful. To ensure that their demonstrations remain peaceful, they must, however, secure police protection and ensure that their demonstrations are not infiltrated by agents, agents of provocation, agents provocateur, who may seek to incite acts of violence in the course of otherwise peaceful protests. To this end, we urge sympathizers of the NDC to secure police protection for their demonstrations. We appeal to opponents of the NDC to keep away from the NDC's demonstrations so as to avoid aggravation that could degenerate into violence. Meanwhile, Executive Secretary of IDEC, Dr. Emmanuel Akwete, also responded to John Mohammed's call for an independent audit of the pink sheets. I wanted to know how that will be done. Um, because of the situation we find ourselves in. Uh, the EC's results have come up, but if you look back, um, the EC has asserted its independence in situations that usually you might think that, okay, it's going to dialogue, it's going to uh, find a political agreement on how steps should, what steps should be taken forward. But Working through IPAC has been very difficult, you know that. And sometimes IPAC has even had to take votes on, on critical issues that need to be resolved. So given what transpired before the elections and where we've got into, uh, what if the EC does not uh, respond positively to what they've said or doesn't take action on that? Watching your news, friend, we're taking a break to bring you more business. Do stay tuned in.